Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Jaegu Diu. In this video, we are going to look at Chapter 10, Sound Waves. And our first topic is Characteristics of Sound Waves. Before we start, I have a question for you. During thunderstorm, do you hear a thunder first or do you see a lightning first? The answer is we'll always see the lightning first before we hear a thunder. Do you know why? This is because uh, light can travel faster than the sound. That's why uh, we see the lightning first. Actually, thunder and lightning happen at the same time. But we see the lightning first because light travel to us first and hence the lightning first. And then sound can, uh, comes a little bit later because they can travel a little bit slower. And hence we hear the thunder a little while after we see the lightning. So before we look at the characteristics of sound waves, what is a sound? Sound is a form of energy, just like chapter 9, heat is a form of energy. Okay, So sound is also a form of energy and it is caused or produced by vibration. Every sound that you hear, something has vibrated. The vi vibration is what produces the sound. Well, you can try this. When you are talking, try to touch the front of your throat right here. Okay? Tap the touch the front of your throat with your fingertips and try to say something. Can you feel the vibration? That is the vibration of your vocal cords. That's how you produce some uh, some noise, some sound from talking by talking. That is the vibration of your vocal cords. The first characteristic of sound waves that we are going to look at is sound requires a medium to propagate. What is the meaning of propagate? Propagate is the way sound move. It is called propagate. Okay. So for sound to move, for sound to travel, it needs a medium. What does that mean? It means that the sound can propagate through liquid, solid or gas but it cannot travel through vacuum sound cannot propagate through vacuum do you remember the word vacuum in chapter 9 we talk about vacuum as well vacuum means empty space something that is of absolute empty there's nothing absolutely nothing that is called vacuum we can understand this characteristic that sound requires a medium to propagate better if we do this activity. We can have a ringing alarm clock in the bell jar. You can hear the ringing until we turn on the vacuum pump. What does the vacuum pump here do? It will um, pump out all the air in this bell jar so that the bell jar becomes vacuum. It's completely empty empty space inside there's no more air so alarm clock the ringing alarm clock right now is in uh, an empty space is in vacuum and the ringing sound now cannot travel outside of the bell jar so you will notice that before we turn on the vacuum pump you can hear nice and loud the alarm clock ringing as soon as we turn on the vacuum pump we will notice that the sound becomes um, softer and softer until all the air has been vacuumed out you will no longer hear the ringing the alarm clock is still ringing but we cannot hear it why because right now the bell jar is vacuum sound cannot travel outside of the bell jar because there's nothing for it to propagate through it needs the medium it needs either solid liquid or gas so how does the sound transfer from the source of sound to our ears? We can take the example of a bell. Okay, First, we can ring the bell. A bell is rung. And then the metal surface of the bell, of course, will vibrate. That is what produces the sound, vibration. And the air molecules around the surface will start to vibrate and collide with the air molecules nearby. And this vibration will transfer from one molecule to the other in the form of waves. That's why we call it sound waves. And then it will reach into our ear and in our ear there's an eardrum. The eardrum will vibrate and send a signal to your brain letting you know that you have heard a sound. In this case, it is the sound of a bell ringing. 
okay so this seems like a very long process doesn't it but it is not really that long it's, it happened very quickly so that is our first characteristic of sound wave that sound wave uh, require a medium to travel or to propagate number two the characteristic of sound wave is that sound propagates at different speed in different medium that means in solid in liquid in gas all these three different medium that travel or propagates at different speed we can try this out put a ringing alarm clock at one end of the table and you go to the other end and then we have a plastic container first of all the plastic container is filled with air you don't have to do anything it is that uh, the plastic container already contain the air right so put your ear over it and try to listen to the alarm clock ringing and then we can replace the air and fill it up with water and repeat the process then we fill it up with flour you will notice that the sound is louder and also travel faster in flour compared to water and air that will explain that the sound actually travel differently at different speed in different medium in solid liquid and gas so in solid sound travel very rapidly rapid mean fast okay rapid means fast so in solid the sound can travel very quickly that is the other word of very rapidly why this is because if you remember the particles in solid are arranged so closely together it is very easy for them to transfer the vibration once uh, a molecule start to vibrate all the other molecule will vibrate very quickly the vibration will transfer quickly because of the arrangement of the particles that is why sound transfer very quickly through solid if your dad is working on uh, the door by uh, hammering and you put your ear on the other side of the door you can hear it very loud and very quickly how about through liquid do you know that you can actually hear underwater the next time you go swimming i want you to pay attention to what you hear when you are inside the water okay well sound can transfer or uh, propagate through liquid less rapidly if we compare it to solid that means they are a little bit slower compared to the solid why this is because the arrangement of the particles in liquid are loose compared to solid in liquid they are further apart and hence they will become uh, a little bit less rapidly meaning they are not not as fast as how the vibration can transfer in solid how about in gas i believe you can guess it right that sound will transfer very slowly through gas for example through the air okay this is because for the same reason the particles in air or in gas are arranged so far apart and this will delay the transfer of the vibration so the second characteristic of sound wave where sound can propagate through different medium in different speed how about the third characteristics characteristic number three sound can be reflected and absorbed very similar to heat isn't it we can try this out arrange your uh, your thing as shown in the picture in this diagram and we will need two cardboard tube one for us to travel or transfer the sound of a stopwatch all the way to the back and it should reflect by this wooden plank at the back and travel back to your ear through cardboard uh, tube cube okay and then we can replace the wooden plank with metal sheet and also a towel so which one do you think we can hear clearer if we use metal sheet at the back or the towel we will find out do you know that the amount of sound reflected or absorbed depends on the type of surface just like heat a good sound reflector have has the uh, has hard and smooth surfaces like marble tiles that we use to um, to make the floor in our house and also wall these are very good sound reflector how about good sound absorbers good sound absorbers have soft and rough surfaces like the carpet 
and the softboard. So the question just now, the activity just now, metal sheet and towel. Well, obviously the good sound reflector will be the metal sheet because it is hard and smooth. So you will hear it a lot clearer because it can reflect better. In other ways that we use this concept is in cinema. They use a lot of good sound absorbers. For example, the chairs are layered with soft and comfortable cushion. The wall are layers with soft layers and we have curtains. And then the floor of the cinema or movie theater are normally carpeted. There will be nice carpet, right? All of this make our experience nice, not only because it is comfortable, but because they are also good sound absorbers. You do not want to go into a movie and hearing all the echo from the movie, right? That will not make our experience nice. It will be quite annoying. For example, if somebody in the movie say, I love you, and you will hear, I love you, I love you, I love you. That is not very pleasant experience. Also, if you have ever moved into a new room or a new house or new apartment, when your room is empty and you start talking to your friends, you can hear some echo because our sound, when you're talking, the sound reflected by the wall and the floor. They're hard, they're smooth, right? But you will realize that as soon as we put in the furniture, which is good sound absorbers like the blanket, carpet, curtain pillows mattress all this can absorb sound and very quickly when it is all set up you'll find that you no longer echo in your room okay so here are some application of the absorption uh, the, the sound absorbers so let us uh, review what are the three characteristics that we have discussed today? Number one, sound requires a medium to propagate. It can be solid, liquid, or gas. It cannot propagate through vacuum. Remember that in outer space, it is complete vacuum. You cannot talk to your friend just through the vacuum. You cannot hear a sound unless you use walkie-talkie. Okay? Sound propagates at different speed in different medium. So sound will propagate the fastest where in solid, then followed by liquid and the slowest in gas. Number three, sound can be reflected and absorbed. A good sound reflector will be the surface that is uh, hard and also smooth. A good sound absorbers have good uh, have have surface that is soft and also rough. So that's all from Jekutio in this video. I shall see you again in our next video, okay? Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.